Hello students, so in the last class we started with uh, rectification of a curve which basically means that calculating the arc length and uh, we worked out few examples. We also give, uh, looked into several formulas which some of which we are going to um, implement today and um, we worked out uh, one or two examples where we um, saw if we are given a curve let us say y equals to fx um, then in that case how we can calculate the arc length between um, a two points x equals to a and uh, x equals to b. So, today um, we are going to um, do a uh, few more examples and uh, today we will start with uh, a parametric uh, um, Cartesian um, form where we calculate the arc length. So, let us start with our problem. So, example 1. So, here our problem is find the arc length or length of an arc, uh, length of the arc, it is it is the same thing, length arc length of the curve um, x equals to um, let us say t and uh, y equals to t square from the point t is equals to 0 to t equals to 1. All right. So, if we are already given the curve and we are also given the point where we need to do the um, integration, then we really do not need to draw the curve because um, uh, we, we are already provided enough information to perform that uh, uh, calculation of the arc length. So, here we are given the curve as uh, the given curve is uh, x equals to t and uh, y equals to t square. So, from here we can write dx dt as 1 and uh, dy dt as uh, 2t. So, therefore, the required arc length, the required arc length is integral t running from 0 to t running to t to up to 1 because that is the limit for the parameter and then we know the formula is dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square times dt. So, here we have t running from 0 to 1 dx by dt is 1 plus dy by dt is 4 t square dt. And now, this has become our simple and integral calculus problem. So, we know that uh, uh, from one of those formulas, we can be able to write this, uh, write this integral into a nice formula here and then we just substitute t is equals to 0 and t equals to 1 and that will give us the required answer. So, I will leave that task up to the students because this from here it is pretty much straightforward. So, this is uh, how you calculate the arc length if we are given the Cartesian um, parameter parametric Cartesian system. Um, we can consider an another example of uh, similar sorts. So, example uh, let us say 2. So, find the arc length of the curve let us say x equals to um, cos t. So, and uh, y equals to sin t for t equals to 0 to t equals to t equals to 0 to t equals to 1. So, here also not only that we know this curve, uh, we also have all the vital information to calculate the arc length. So, here we have x equals to cos t and uh, y equals to sin t all right. So, from here we can very easily calculate our dx dt which is basically minus of sin t and uh, our dy dt would be simply cos t. And now we are supposed to calculate the arc length. So, the required arc length, the required arc length 
is basically integral t running from 0 to 1 and uh, then we have dx dt whole square plus dy dt uh, it's better if you put it in the bracket times dt so this is integral t running from 0 to 1 dx dt whole square is <coughs> sin square t and dy dt whole square is cos square t so this one we can integrate we do not have to uh, put it off so sin square t plus cos square t is 1 and there is square root square root of 1 is 1 dt and uh, um, t so basically we will have t at 1 so 1 um, the square root of 1 can also be taken as minus 1 because uh, we have a plus minus 1 as the square root of 1 um, but we cannot take minus here because length is a positive quantity so we cannot have minus 1 so minus 1 does not make any sense so that is why we have taken only 1 as the square root of 1 all right and uh, therefore we got the length as a as a positive number so this is a how to say a small essence of mathematics I would say uh, where you have to be a little bit cautious um, what you choose uh, as, a, as a value for, um, and uh, here is the one such example that we cannot take the negative value we always have to take the positive value. So this is how we calculate the arc length of a curve which is given in part pa parametric uh, Cartesian uh, system and of course the points are given so the calculation is, is, is fairly simple um, next type of uh, formula is basically um, of uh, polar coordinate type uh, polar coordinate system so let us uh, work out few examples based on the uh, polar coordinate system so we will do uh, the uh, we proceed in the following way so example let us say 3 So rectify or calculate the arc length whatever so rectify the curve x equals to a theta plus sin theta and uh, y equals to a 1 minus cos theta so how do we do the rectification so this is our given curve right Um, my figures are a little bit, uh, how to say, upside down, uh, mainly because I'm not a good draw, uh, good good painter in a way, or uh, good at drawing. So let us draw this curve. So it looks something like this. Now uh, about the drawing of a polar co uh, of of the uh, polar coordinate. Um, curves or any Cartesian curves that is a different chapter. So, you may have to look into uh, a chapter called how to draw the um, a chapter on how to draw the curves. So, there are uh, formulas or methods where you learn um, about how you can draw a curve, but uh, that is not uh, basically our concern here. So, he he here we will uh, we are assuming that the reader is already familiar with the with the concepts of how to draw a curve. So this is this is how our curve will look like. So this is a and uh, this point is a dash. All right. So now we first have to guess the limit because if we have uh, a, a equation of a curve given in terms of polar coordinate system, so um, the rectification formula involves the integration for theta equals to alpha to theta equals to beta. That means we need to identify these two uh, values of theta, these two angles we need to identify so that we can do the integration. So here we will try to do the same thing. We will first try to identify the range for theta that that is from where to where it is varying all right so as uh, a point let's say any point on this uh, arc as a point moves from one end a dash to other end a of the one arc the parameter theta increases basically 
increases from minus pi to plus pi of course so it will increase from minus pi to plus pi yes and uh, and uh, the parameter theta is 0 for the vertex o all right so so this is vertex o that is here and 0 is like 0 real number all right so as the arc is symmetrical about oy so the arc is i didn't draw the symmetric uh, figure but it is symmetrical so the arc is symmetrical symmetrical along oy or about oy whichever you prefer to use about or along oy the required arc length is basically our arc a o a dash which is two times arc o a dash right or two times arc o a so any one of the arc and then you multiply by two and that will give you the length of the whole arc so we can do the calculation for any one of the let's say sub arcs all right so now we have uh, x equals to a times theta plus sin theta so then in that case if we are calculating the uh, calculating the arc length for any one of these uh, sub arcs um, we can basically have theta running from 0 to pi all right so theta a times theta plus sin theta and uh, we have uh, y equals to uh, theta uh, a times 1 minus cos theta so from here we will have dx d theta equals to a times 1 plus cos theta and uh, dy d theta equals to a times uh, minus cos theta so basically sin theta isn't it so that's what we get uh, doing the differentiation and now we know our formula where we have to substitute all of these so the formula says that <coughs> so the formula says that the required arc length the required arc length a o a dash equals to 2 times the arc length let us say o a so then in that case it is 2 times integral from 0 to pi so theta is running from 0 to pi um, square root of dx d theta from the formula um, dy d theta times d theta now this is 2 times integral theta running from 0 to pi dx d theta is uh, a square 1 minus uh, what is that a square 1 plus cos theta yes a square 1 plus cos theta whole square and this one is a square sin square theta so if we um, how to say um, if we um, calculate this whole thing then it will turn out to be uh, 2a theta running from 0 to pi cos theta by 2 this involves some very simple trigonometrical uh, calculation and I am pretty sure you can be able to do that. So, ultimately we will be able to obtain 2a cos theta by 2 and uh, we have another 2 here. So, this will be 4a and once we integrate this thing, so it will reduce to 1 by 2. So, there will be a 2 here and cos theta by 2 will reduce to sin theta by 2 integral from 0 to pi. So, when theta is pi uh, when theta is pi then in that case this is sin pi by 2 and when theta is 0 then sin 0 is 0. So, 4 a times 2 and then sin pi by 2 is 1. So, 1 that means 8 a. So, that is the required arc length from here to here although we calculated just from here to here by varying the theta from 0 to pi. 
So, this is uh, one way where we can calculate the arc length whose um, uh, how to say uh, pole, uh, polar uh, Cartesian a uh, polar representation is given. Although it is not entirely polar, it is actually parametric uh, Cartesian representation because the equations are given in x uh, equals to phi theta and y equals to psi theta. So, instead of t they are using theta and uh, the limits for theta uh, we are calculating basically just looking at the curve. So, it is not entirely um, a polar coordinate representation, it is uh, actually um, a parametric Cartesian representation. Um, so, this is one such example where we can use that formula. Now, let us let us actually work out uh, an example where we will use uh, polar, uh, polar, for, uh, polar coordinate system. So, let us go to an another example, example I do not know 4. So, I, I lost the track. So, it could be example 4. So, find the perimeter or arc length or rectify they are all the same thing. So, find the arc length or let us say perimeter. So, perimeter means actually the whole um, arc length in a way. So, the entire arc length. So, perimeter of the cardioid, cardioid r equals to a times 1 minus cos theta. So, the solution. So, how to draw the cardioid that is a different issue and that can that is that, a different topic to be uh, studied. So, I recommend to read some books where they have addressed this issue that how you can draw a curve. Now, the cardioid will look something like uh, this. this is our a that is 0 all right. Now, um, this curve, so this curve is symmetrical around the initial line, around the initial line O x, initial line O x and therefore, the perimeter is double the length of therefore, its perimeter therefore, its perimeter is double the length of the arc uh, the arc lying above the initial line. So, we just calculate the arc length above the initial line and we multiply uh, multiply it by 2 and that will give us the perimeter or the entire arc length of the cardioid of the initial line. So, the given equation is r equals to theta times 1 minus cos theta. So, from here we can calculate our dr d theta and dr d theta is uh, um, a times sin theta. It is better to write some sentences. So, the given equation, the given uh, given equation of the curve is of the curve is this one and then we do the differentiation all right and uh, theta is basically varying from 0 to pi so 0 to pi to cover the entire arc length now the required arc length is the required arc length or perimeter. So, let us use the term perimeter. So, the required perimeter, the required perimeter equals to 2 times length of the upper arc, length of the upper arc. Now, the length of the upper arc will be calculated by theta running from 0 to pi. 
square root of r square plus dr d theta whole square. This is where we are using the polar coordinate form for calculating the arc length. So, we have used that formula here all right. Now, we substitute these two values. So, let us substitute the values. This will be uh, this will be uh, r square. So, integ 2 times integral from 0 to pi we will have um, we will have uh, a uh, 1 minus. So, we will have a square 1 minus cos theta whole square plus a square sin theta whole square that means sin square theta d theta. So, from here we will basically obtain 0 to 2 pi from here we will basically obtain 2 a sin theta by 2. This is a very simple trigonometrical calculation which uh, I am leaving up to the students d theta and then this one will be 4 a sin theta by 2. So, its integration will be minus 2 cos theta by 2 integral from 0 to pi by 2. So, this will be actually minus of 8 a cos pi by 2 plus cos uh, minus cos 0. So, cos pi by 2 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So, this is basically 8 a. So, that is the required arc length or the perimeter of this um, cardioid um, uh, this one here. So, here uh, the given equation was actually in polar coordinate system and uh, using this uh, equation uh, we can be able to. So, using this equation uh, we were able to calculate uh, this arc length here and uh, uh, multiply it by 2 that is here and that will give you the whole parameter. So, that is basically uh, the required perimeter of the cardioid. Um, so, we can uh, work out an another problem uh, just to just to get more familiar uh, with the with the with the uh, with this topic actually. So, let me consider an another example. So, another example. So, find the arc length of the curve uh, of the curve given by cardioid r equals to a times 1 minus cos theta and uh, and it is find the arc length of the curve given by cardioid and it is divided by the line 4 r cos theta 3 a equals to 3 a. So, this is the required. Uh, uh, so, the cardioid basically is divided by the line this one here and then um, the arc length we have to calculate the uh, arc length uh, of, uh, of, of I mean when this uh, line is dividing the cardioid. So, if we draw this curve, so unless we draw this curve we, we will not be able to understand the problem. So, unless we draw this curve. So, let us draw this curve. So, this is the curve. So, that is our origin. And this is let us say C, B, and uh, that is basically theta equals to pi by 3. So, the given curve, the given curve um, and the straight line are the given curve and the
straight line r r equals to a times 1 plus cos theta and uh, 4r cos theta equals to 3a respectively respectively so basically this is the line and uh, this is the this is the curve and uh, they intersect they intersect they intersect one another at uh, b and c so from here we can there therefore the point of intersection therefore the point of intersection can be calculated by substituting r equals to uh, so from here we can substitute the value of r here uh, so that is 3 by 4 cos theta equals to a times 1 plus cos theta and from here we will basically obtain a quadratic equation 4 cos square theta plus 4 cos theta minus 3 and uh, if we solve this equation then we will basically obtain cos theta equals to uh, half and uh, if cos theta is half then theta is pi by 3. So, they are intersecting at the point uh, theta equals to pi by 3 and we have to calculate the value of r here. So, we can substitute for theta equals to pi by 3 here that will give us the value of r and uh, another value of cos theta is ignored because uh, the other value is cos theta equals to minus 3 by 2. We can write uh, the other value the other value cos theta equals to minus 3 by 2 is inadmissible is inadmissible so we have ignored that value and uh, for theta equals to pi by 3 we can also calculate the value of r so that's the point where they are intersecting one another and uh, the required arc length of the arc let us say so this is the arc for which we have to calculate the arc length so the required arc length a b c um, we have to write the correct order so c a b so c a b equals to 2 times uh, arc length what is the arc length then upper half because it is symmetrical so the arc length a b so since it is symmetrical we just write 2 times arc length a b so this is basically 2 times integral theta running from 0 to pi by 3 uh, r uh, r square dr d theta whole square times d theta so we know that our r square is uh, um, r square is a square times 1 minus cos theta whole square and dr d theta is very simple to calculate from here. So, dr d theta is um, um, uh, sorry. So, here it is minus. So, dr d theta is basically a sin theta. So, this is a square sin square theta d theta and uh, if you do the simplification then we will basically obtain here 2 times uh, 2 times um, theta running from 0 to pi by 3 we will obtain uh, 2a times uh, I believe sin theta by 2 and uh, we basically do the integration like we did before and then we will get our required answer. So, here we saw that the that uh, we had to calculate the arc length of the curve given by the cardioid and it is divided by the line so that means that this part of the cardioid uh, this part of the cardioid or this part of the arc length we needed to calculate since it is symmetrical so we just calculate the one side and multiply it by 2 so that's what we are doing here and here it's fairly just uh, it's pretty much just a simple calculation like we did before and that will give us the required arc length between these two curves. So, um, I try to cover uh, en enough examples from all of these type of coordinate system Cartesian, parametric Cartesian and polar coordinate system and uh, we will continue with uh, our next topic which is basically surface integral in our next class and uh, I will try to include some examples on rectification in our assignment sheet. 
and um, I look forward to you in your next class. Thank you.